What's up, everybody? Welcome to Sunny Side TV. I'm Sunny, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Lethe's Path of Progress here on the Nintendo Switch. And this is a city builder that honestly i've been having a lot of fun with it and it's been years ma many many years since i've actually played a city builder now with any types of these games you the biggest thing that you look out for is the ui and if things are running really well because there's always a lot happening now we're gonna jump straight into this i actually have only played the tutorial because this game has so much going on that even the tutorials would actually take a long time. But I think I have enough now. I didn't even finish the tutorial. But we're just going to kind of play the basics and we're just going to get started off. And we're going to see if we can build something from scratch. So the very first thing I'm going to want to do is build a road. We have to build roads. Uh, how do we do this? Okay, so how big is this land? It's a huge land. Can I just build anywhere? That's crazy. So this is my first fresh land with nothing, because usually the tutorial gives you a little something, something to kind of, okay, so let's just build, do I have bridge? Okay, what I want to build is a street, there we go. So there is a little trick here that you can hold it, I think, right? Can we, okay, so we'll just, what we'll, we'll do is we'll just do one line. So what we're doing is making a road straight to the river. Now the game's very like, it's, it's 2D, it's, and it's fairly simple. I'm curious. Why am I even building a double road? <laughs> I don't even know why I'm doing it. All of it costs money, so maybe I shouldn't. Okay, so we built the straight road. So essentially, we're trying to build houses to start off with so we can get workers in, right? So how do we... Let's see here. Is there like an exit out of here? Ooh, there is. You know what? I already messed up. I think I want to build to this thing over here. But guys, if you guys could do me a huge favor, hit that like button if you're uh, if you end up liking this video and you like my uh, kind of like my my style, I would really appreciate it. And uh, sub to the channel for more game and game reviews while I sit here and fumble trying to make a road. Okay, so we have something going towards the water. What we'll do is we'll do this. Now, <laughs> full disclosure, I have, like, no creative eye. Me building a beautiful city is just not going to happen. But we want to build something functional. See, I already, like, messed up. <laughs> uh, all right, I give up. All right, so we're, we're trying to build, like, a loop. Maybe what we can do is we can build... Oops. We can build within a a town, right? So what we can do is, like... Something like this. Ah, okay, there we go. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab some houses. Actually, should I just build down the middle? Is that a thing? No, 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 no. Don't do that. Actually, I think I did this perfect. That's just coincidence because I don't know what I'm doing. Yep. I think I did do this pretty perfect. So we actually have to build a well, too. So you so the the controls are really simple. Now one of the things I was mentioning earlier is the UI, right? Uh, and like the control. Now I'm not a huge fan of the mouse pointers. I've never been a f oh shoot, I've never been a fan of doing of having it that way. But I think in this game I understand why it's set up that way. So I can't really complain. So everybody's just going to be intense right now, and nobody has a job yet. So as you can see at the very top, it says unemployment. Okay. So I set up a ton of crap. Now we need a well. And I'm going to be fumbling through the menu because I don't remember where everything's at. So I need, what would it be under? Ser no, service. There we go. So a well. So we're just going to have a well that's connected. And I think we have to have two wells. Yeah. So we got two wells. There we go. So people can start setting up a little better. Now, we wouldn't need to set up a food source, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a fishery so people can fish. How does this work? And then we might have to build a road. Oh, I had it green. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Do I need it? Do I need to connect it to a road? Okay, so what we'll do is we'll build a road real quick. 
Actually, we should build two of the, you know what? Let's build a road first. Okay. There we go. So some people will have some employment. As you can see, my unemployment's going down now. Okay, let's go back to building another fishery. And then what we can do is we can actually even do farmland. Let's do one more of these fisheries. As soon as I figure out how to do it. There we go. We'll set up a road. Sweet. There we go. All right, so now we need to build a silo or type thing. A wash house actually makes sense too. Fishery, windmill, storage, a granary, right? Or a warehouse. I think granary is granary for uh, crops or is it a warehouse? I don't know. We'll we'll build a we'll build a granary and a warehouse. Actually, maybe we should have this separate. Let's put this over here and we'll put a road to it. All right. So give me the road. There we go, road. There we go. So we already got workers working over there. Perfect. Perfect. How about we can even set up some farm? Let's set up a farm. Let's see how that goes. So let's set up a wheat farm because what we're going to want to do is actually get some beer going. Right? So these people. Can we, where can we set up farm? Can we not set up here? <laughs> oh, no. Is this f land not fertile? Oh, my goodness. Maybe I needed a, a crash course on the game is not giving me the option to uh, set up a farm anywhere. Is it because I need to set up a potato farm maybe? Nope. So all we have is fish right now. That's fine. You know what? That's fine for now. All right. So let's build up a store. So I, I don't know. I'm actually losing my train of thought here on my priorities. So you need a store so people can actually sell those fish. Uh, so I think it'd be under, would it be under food? No, service. It'd be under service. Where's service? Herbalist, newspaper stand, coffee shop, right? No? Service, food. There we go, store. So we'll set up a store. We'll just set up two stores. All right, one right here. And another one right there. There we go. So we got food. What else do we need? Is everybody busting the food over here? So if you want to find out the progress of what's happening, you just click over here. So yeah, fish is, is being built up here in the granary. So I, I did that correct. So that's good to see. Um, I think everything for the most part is functioning well. Now what you want to do is put decorations. Decorations are really good because it helps people grow the houses. And if they're growing the houses... That means more people can move in. The problem is we don't really need more people to move in because we have really high unemployment as it is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start messing with stuff that I've never messed with before. A ranch. Wow. A rancher's den distillery. So this is like, this is, there's just so much happening here, guys. There's like, it's insane. <laughs> it's insane. I really wish I could have set up a farm though. I don't know what happened there. I'm not entirely sure why I'm unable to set up a farm. I feel like I can't set up a ranch because I would need farm stuff, right? Let me try setting up a farm again. Maybe a pumpkin farm? No. Barley farm? No. Potato farm? Let me see if I go out here somewhere. Yeah, I'm not sure why I'm not allowed to grow anywhere. That's kind of a bummer. But as you guys can see, the town is already like up and moving and everything's already rolling. So this is this is this is awesome. I have to say, and the game runs really, really smooth. Like it's just a smooth ooh, I forgot about a maintenance. Oh my goodness. That is bad. <laughs> Let me get this maintenance going. So we'll set this one up real quick. So maintenance is important because if you don't, then the fisheries can actually collapse. And plus it gives people jobs, so that's never a bad thing. Let's go ahead and set up a warehouse just for just for funsies. Okay, I didn't build this very well. <laughs> I didn't I didn't do a good job. You know what? Why don't we build a road off this way?
just a road out here so we can build things off off site. An exorcist? What would I do with an exorcist? A tax collector? Ooh. Let's set up a tax collector <laughs> so we can tax people. You need to build a town hall. Oh, all right. Let's build a town hall. I've never done this, so. All right, we'll build a town hall. You know what? Let's build this town hall out here somewhere. And we'll just. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So people are working in the town hall. That's awesome. We still have too much unemployment, though. Tax collector seems to make sense. So obviously, this is a sandbox, guys. This is limitless what you can do in terms of, I guess, what they have here, right? In terms of what you can build. But I mean, you can build the most beautiful town here and just... And these houses, they'll all upgrade it if I just keep kind of upgrading it. Like, if I just keep putting decorations and things people want, you know, people will start to move in. Because people want to live in a nice place, right? So that kind of makes sense. And you just kind of keep building this stuff, and people just start coming in. So you guys can see. I'm not sure why the roads change. That's kind of interesting to me, but... Like, this stuff makes more... The problem is we don't need more people flocking in because of all this, but... Because we need to make more buildings. Um... But yeah, ooh, look at that. We got a resource up here that could probably be mined. So there's definitely a lot happening here, and uh, and I'm, I'm honestly I'm highly impressed. Game's a lot of fun. I'm surprised at how well the game runs when there's a lot happening on the screen. Everything just runs beautifully. So if you're interested in this, check it out. Left this path of progress, twenty bucks here on the Nintendo Switch. Ton of fun, as you guys can see. It took me. 10 minutes to set up this little mini town already it's really easy really fun really enjoyable i actually completely recommend this game so definitely check it out here on the nintendo switch that's gonna be it for me on this video i wanted to keep it short just kind of show off the basics um and if you guys like this video please consider hitting that like button and sub to the channel for more gameplay and game reviews especially here on the nintendo switch i appreciate every single one of you clicking on this video liking this and getting this far here uh, but that's gonna be for me i'm sunny this is sunny side tv thanks again for watching have a good one and like always i hope you guys all have a sunny day